Mets host the Red Sox. The Red Sox are plus 106 on the money line. The Mets are minus 124. The over under seven and a half runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 210, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Mets laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 172, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two runs or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. It's supposed to be 73 degrees with 14 mile an hour winds and no rain. Bello did not pitch against the Mets last year or this year. Severino pitched once against the Red Sox last year as a member of the Yankees. Five innings, four runs, three earned. They lost 4-1, and he struck out six. Heads ahead, the Red Sox are on a two-game winning streak. They are 8-2 and two against the Mets in their last 10. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorite has won the last two games they played against each other. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been four one-run games in their last 10. The under is 6-3-1, and one, but the over 7.5 runs is 6-4. and four. The Red Sox are 4-1 and one in Bellows' last five starts. Six innings pitched, four hits, two earned runs, 5.6 strikeouts, 2.8 walks, 0.4 home runs, 93.2 pitches per game, and 15.9 pitches per inning. For the Mets, they're 2-3 and three in Severino's last five starts. The over's hitting his last two. Five and two-thirds innings pitched. 6.2 hits, 2.8 runs, 2.6 of which were earned, 7 strikeouts, 1.6 walks, 1 home run per game. He gave up 2 home runs in his last start, 96.2 pitches per game, 17.5 pitches per inning. The Red Sox are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, 1-3 and three in their last 4. 2 runs, 12 runs, 3 runs, 5 runs. Shutout and a loss, 7 runs and a win, 1 run and a loss, 1 run and a loss. For the Mets, they're 7-3 and three in their last 10. They're on a four-game winning streak. Five runs, six runs, eight runs, two runs. Three runs and a win, five runs and a win, five runs and a win, two runs and a win. Granted, their last series was against the White Sox, but you play who's on your schedule. So, you know, playing the worst team in baseball kind of helps teams win games. I'm going to take the Red Sox here, though. I understand that Severino and Bello are both pitching well and the Mets are home, but Red Sox with the money line, Red Sox getting the runs and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.